Hey guys, Brian delivers you the goods here. I'm returning to you for a album review tonight. And I'm sorry that I'm returning to you pretty late for this album review. Uh, I just, in my time, it's like almost 10.30 uh, where I'm at. So, at night. So, it's pretty late for me mostly because I go to bed really soon. But... This album review I'm returning to you for is for Ariana Grande's new album, Positions, that I just got done listening to. So I'm going to discuss what I listened to for this album and let you know my thoughts on it. So let's dive into this review. Now I've been hearing this album for the past few days, but I wanted to wait till about now to review it because it's almost out. It's going to be out at midnight. Uh, at 12 o'clock at night, so midnight, of course. Uh, but I gotta say, this is probably better than Thank You Next. Um, there is some talk songs about her sex life and how she, oh, well, in 34 plus 35, which equals 69. She sings a lyric, can you stay up all night, fuck me till the daylight, and I'm like, holy crap, I'm just like, I don't know if I like that lyric, it, it's a very sexual lyric, but eh, sometimes sexual lyrics to me kind of make me cringe, uh, but Motive was not a bad one. It was mm, that and Safety Net, which Motive features a uh, Doja Cat in it, and that was not a bad song. Uh, but Doja Cat in it was kind of not impressing me as much with her rap, with her verse or whatever when she's rapping, cause. She's like, you treat me like gold, baby. Or whatever. And I'm like, uh, it doesn't sound that impressive. Shut Up, the opener track, was a really good one. I really liked it. I'm not trying to say shut up to you guys. I'm just saying the title of the track, which is called Shut Up. And it's not a bad one. Uh, sorry if it almost sounded like I was saying it, but no, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't trying to, of course, because <laughs> that would have been bad on my part, and, yeah, I probably would have felt really shitty for saying that, <laughs> but, yeah, Off the Table featuring The weekend was kind of dull of a song, it wasn't terrible it just didn't execute as well as i thought it was going to turn out i thought it was going to be like a good pop song uh like the song he, they did years ago uh ariana grande in the weekend called love me harder and i really like that song that was a really catchy song um uh, this one however is very slow paced and is very, ugh. it's not a bad one, but I gave it like a 4.5 out of 5, because the slow motion kind of melody, it's alright. Um, and Just Like Magic was a good one. I really liked that song uh, from Ariana Grande. 6.30... Another cringy one that I just can't seem to like. I don't know. And Safety Net you get to after you finish the first six tracks. So pretty much I already talked about half the record. Um, there was only one single off the album which was Positions. And that was a really good one. I really liked that one. Even though it had some sexual lyricism in it. I still liked it. The video, however, was... Uh, probably could have been a better video. But it is what it is. 
Um, Nasty was another song. I think it was the last track I gave a 4.5 out of 5. Because uh, I was going to rate this a certain rating. Uh, but it's going to get a pretty strong rating, I guess you could say. Um, my Hair was a pretty good one. I really like that one. Uh, West Side was really good. I love that one. Uh, Love Language was really good. And it has this thing at the end of the song where Ariana Grande's singing and kind of spitting her raps or whatever at the end of the song of Love Language. And it's only like a 20 second verse that she's spitting. And it's not so bad. Um, obvious and point of view, also known as POV, which is also known as point of view, like I said, are really good songs to close the record out, and I really like it. But overall, I think Ariana Grande's new album was good. It wasn't the best, but it was good. Um, there's a few cringy songs I can't seem to get past that have a little bit of sexual lyricism in it. Mostly this album talks about her sex life and, uh, sexual things she wants to talk about in her music. And I'm like, man, she's getting filthy now. <laughs> uh, but out of 10, I think I'm going to give this album an 8 out of 10. This was a good album. Uh, I do see myself returning to this quite a bit. Not all the time, but most of the time when I'm feeling up for some Ariana Grande. Because I don't hate her music. Uh, she's one of those artists that I think the last album with the Break Up With Your Girlfriend Because I'm Bored song. That was just the dumbest title that she made, but the song didn't do so bad. Uh, it was a dumb title, but still, it wasn't so bad. But Positions is much better than Thank You Next. It is so much better than Thank You Next. Uh, it's Most people are going to think this is album of the year. Honestly, there's something better that's album of the year. That's going to be on my list. And it'll be a good album that I really personally liked. Uh, but comment below. Let me know what you guys thought of the new Ariana Grande album, Positions, if you've heard it. And if you like this album review that I made for the Ariana Grande Positions album that I reviewed comment below and let me know your thoughts on it tap like on this video if you liked it subscribe to my channel if you can to support the channel i will be returning to you which is probably which i'm probably gonna have to do this review tomorrow for sam smith love goes and then the dua lipa fever track review uh, i guess i'll do tomorrow i'm not sure but I'll let you know when I come around to doing that. Sorry, I thought my ear was, like, stuffy or whatever. Uh, that's why I was holding my nose and trying to uh, wake my ears up or whatever. <laughs> but, yeah, I hope you did enjoy this album review that I made for Ariana Grande Positions. Did the best I could to make it as good as possible. And keep in mind, this is my opinion on what I thought of the album. You don't have to agree on with me on it. It's just how I felt when I was listening to the record. And a strong 8 out of 10 I'm going to give it. But thank you for watching this uh, album review for Ariana Grande Positions. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay safe. Take care. And I'll see you in my next video.